you know, the year before trip, we, we got to the championship game and we lost that game to the New England Patriots. And, and it was Ben's rookie year. There was a lot of talk about whether he's going to come back or not. Um, you know, I think he was thinking about retiring, but kind of, he decided to come back the next year. He was kind of like a role player for us. You know, it was just so funny because we had Willie Parker that was our, our starter. Jerome would come in and he would, he would be our, our closer. He would close down a drive, um, you know, put him in there at the two-yard line. He'll get you a couple yards. I think he had as many touchdowns as he had yards that year, <laughs> you know. And, uh, <laughs> but, but, but he was the guy in the fourth quarter of a game. He was our closer. And, and, and our team, I mean, for a guy who wasn't a starter, he was one of the most biggest influencers we had in the team. He was, he was the leader, and people looked up to him. And we won that AFC championship game in Denver. The first thing we said, the bus is going home. And um, you look all, there's a lot of things we do. You're going to see, we got on the plane to go to Detroit for that week. Everybody put on their old Michigan or Notre Dame bus number six jerseys. And everybody was wearing the drone Bettis jersey because it was like, we were going to win this for him. And if you watch the opening of us running out in the field, everybody was supposed to run out in the field. and Joey Porter said, you know, let's just do this, but he didn't tell Jerome. And he ran out in the field, and Joey Porter held everybody else back. And Jerome Best ran onto the field by himself to open that game. So, you know, it's just one of those moments where we were, we were driven to get there to win a championship. We understood the journey we had been on and the path that we had taken. But there was also this sidebar with him and he had everybody, players come over that week to his mom's house. No coaches didn't go. And yes, I was telling Jerome, be very careful. I don't want you eating a whole lot. We still have to play <laughs> one more game. Um, you know, so we was like, you know, don't fatten these guys up too much, please. And it was early in the week. I'm going to practice. We're, we're going to get this back off. We do, we do have one more game to play, you know. You know, this is like, and so um, I said, I've been here before and lost. It's no fun losing this game. I said, they don't remember the people that, you don't remember the people that lose the Super Bowl. You don't remember the team that was that 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 Tampa Bay beat last year. You don't you you went, you don't remember the team that loses that last game. And so I've been the team that's lost that last game, and that's 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 a great journey, but it's for naught. And so I just asked for them to keep that in perspective. And so through the course of that week, we we stayed status quo with everything we were doing and. You know, I think when it was all said and done, I just remember seeing a picture of Ben with with Jerome. And, you know, what he was to us was a mentor. He was a leader. Um, and for me as a coach, you know, he was my voice in the locker room. And so, you know, that's what the great ones are. That's what the Sidney Crosbys are. They're a yep. reflection of, of what you're trying to create in the locker room and a reflection of who you want this team to be when I get on the ice and also off the ice. And Jerome was that. 